So there's a new show out. Oh, I don't yeah. I heard about it. I think it was. Did it come out on Amazon Prime? Yeah, some upstart IP. Something, yeah, something about some I rings. Don't what, I don't know. What did you it as? Oh, the cock rings of, of truth. <laughs> But we had talked about that. That Negative of what his search history looks like right now. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Before we get going, the elephant in the room. Sure. Tolkien. Yeah. The books. Okay. The IP. Me no read, so I'm good. The internet has not been kind to this show. We are watching this show with absolutely no knowledge of what is written in any literature from Tolkien. So cool. we are n- neither one of us are coming into this review from a did they get it right perspective. No, God was no. was was the uh, implementation correct? Well, Elrond's you hair know? was a little quaffed a little bit poorly. Well, in the book, it was really different. I don't want to like discredit the book readers entirely because from what I've read, their complaints are it is completely different. Like it's they didn't try to. Okay, so I that's what I've that. heard. The truth is somewhere in the middle, probably. But what we are going to do is review it from. Show watchers. That's what we are. With all that being said, though, let's just start from the very beginning. It was very expensive. Over $600 million to produce this season. Which you can see. $58 million or something per episode. Yeah, it was something ridiculous. Uh, It is the most expensive produced show of all time. But you see it. The scenery, the makeup, everything about it seemed real. Like It, it felt like it took you there. Yes, and... I was telling my wife when we were watching it, something I really appreciated about the show is because you know when you're trying to build these huge worlds like Middle Earth, which is a huge world, uh, yep. what happens when you can um, zoom out and when you're going to a new place, geographically speaking, you kind of take the audience there across the map to kind of show um, the distance yep. traveled mm-hmm. and then you zoom in. So that way you can like kind of piece together the pieces of this world because it's been a long time since Lord of the Rings has had I know. a visual well, yeah, representation. Hobbit, which was within the last couple of years. Uh, let's, I think you're dating yourself. It's really? very long ago yeah i think the hobbit came out maybe 10 years ago yeah, there was like four of them yeah, like a decade ago stop yeah so <laughs> i like that the show did that right you um, had to get you back into the world get you back acclimated with yes. you have recognizable characters that you've seen before i think and first two episodes as we've learned you gotta build that base story and i think that's what they're taking their time and if they okay we watch shows that has poor have poor quality we and animation live action whatever mm-hmm this, you know it was getting funneled a ton of money because it was recognizable IP. Yeah. Uh, I Amazon think, had all right, the money Amazon, in the world to throw into it. Right. So it was a good good like foundation with Amazon, which is limitless money. Mm-hmm. You have a good story that's there. You just have to adapt it. And now if you're making the book readers mad, so be it. But, you know, at the end of it, I think you have your recognizable characters with Galandriel and Elrond. Mm-hmm. And they just take you everywhere that you need to be. So, what I didn't get sold on in the first two episodes was any of the characters, really. Uh, you get it, there's you too know, many I, of them. It's going to take time to do that. Absolutely, it's like it's like any show. Game Outside of, of Durin, Durin was the one that I was completely well, sold on him. You know, this show just is me because it's that type of fantasy I like with orcs and elves and dwarves and yeah. that. That is me in a nutshell. So I was already fantasy. in it. Oh, God, if I'm Mr. Yeah. TVMA, you're Mr. Fantasy. Uh, and I was in. So when Durin showed up and I saw like his that whole scene, where he lives, the story behind the him. The city in the mountain. My God. You talk about one of the most like breathtaking pieces of imagery. What a beautiful place it that is. Detailed. And I loved the only relationship I actually bought, though, was the relationship between Durin and Elrond. Yeah, I, I think was we like, were I meant just to wanted feel that. all of that. Just like make the story those two. So we kind of get reintroduced to the orcs, uh, and there's only one scene of one close up, and I thought that was what they did the best job with, really selling the horror aspect of what orcs are, what they represent. Right. It's not that traditional clean-looking orc that yeah, I am exactly. accustomed to. Exactly. And it's like these grimy, were, yeah. dark, dirty, and these are like base level inceptions of them because this was 1200 years prior it's the second age this is all set yeah. in the second age and the, lord of the rings the tr- the three the trilogy was the third age okay right so yeah. there's been a long time so thousands of years they developed the things have happened and but yeah i think that just shows the money i just that's what i keep saying like the story though is in its infancy i think of it, course and it that's is, why yeah. i don't think it, whether they're it taking their good damn time. Right. They are. You got two episodes. But Galadriel you have, spent the whole second episode swimming. Which can I tell you how unrealistic that would have been? Swimming. As soon as she jumped off board, I'm like, well, where are you going? First thing I, it's, I swear to God, <laughs> me and my wife looked at each other and we're like, 
where does she think she is? Right. You, you've you sailed for a long time. Long time. <laughs> long time. Long and time. if you looked at the beginning of the show, where that map was, and they, they went to Middle Earth, hey, that's a long you distance. ain't swimming. That's a long distance. And whether how badass and, you are or not. And what uh, something else about like that I think is kind of cheesy, and I know they have to do it, is the relationship building. Um, where... Just so miraculously, this very mysterious, very, very good looking man oh, happens Brand. to find uh, Galadriel in the ocean. And he's very, he hides some of his identity. He and doesn't like they elves. Have, he uses coded language <laughs> and doesn't <laughs> like the elves. And it, that part is kind of cheesy to me. The fact that the happenstance of just finding her in the middle of the ocean. Right. Like, what are the, what's the likelihood that she would have swam yeah. the right direction? So I kind of rolled my eyes at that a little bit. But it's a stretch. It's it's to be expected with yeah. a show like this, and I'm going to take it. It's just... But you're getting your base characters. I yeah. think I'm waiting for them to meet. I, I hope they do. Of course they will. Because um, you got a cool group of people. And, you know, guys, we do have the names all written down, but we're just not at that oh, point. No, that we're do not about. let us yeah. fool you into thinking we've memorized <laughs> these names yet. Right, because they are all like, right a- there. Aaron Deere and... You know, Aaron is the elf Bronwyn that is having another relationship with, with a human, uh, with a healer of the village, right. with the humans. Right. I, I was intrigued by that story about why the cow came back shooting black shit out of because it went to the bad part. Yeah, it was great. That's like, where the orcs had already been. Yep, and so, he's protecting them uh, from that. Like that's was the elves' job right now. Is and I kind of like his character. Oh and yeah. I really yeah. like the fact that no one in Middle Earth they're all tired of the elves. They're, it's kind of like they've overstayed their like, welcome, but they did. High completely and saved the world. They did. While the elves did humanity a great service, or all of existence a great service, everyone is real tired of their presence. And I oh, like yeah. that dichotomy. A long time. Where the ones that saved everything are the ones that people are like, oh my God, we're the so, heroes. This is peacetime. Yeah. Why don't you go back home? Galadriel's the only one that seems to well, know. Well, you got the fireball through the sky, which rattled everybody. I swore that was Gandalf. I know. We, swore. we really wanted it to be Gandalf when so bad. When you saw... Him laying there in the crater that he had formed when Eleanor found the stranger in the zoom, it zoomed in on his face. You know it looked like Gandalf. Oh God, it I think that's like what was almost to be a teaser for. But it. I'm pretty sure it can't be. No, he. I don't think so. He doesn't age like that because he he aged. He was human. So this was the first two episodes. I'm definitely sold into the show oh, and the good. premise of it because I, I am. I, I really wanted to like this show. I really did. And I knew I was going to come at this from like fresh eyes and not trying to judge it from a book perspective. Right. So Which because I did that, anything. I think I'm much, uh, I like the show much more than most of the book readers. We're going to review episode to episode of this show. It might be a couple days late getting out uh, the episodes just because of how much we're reviewing. It is show season. So just bear with us while we navigate through. I hope they release more than one episode a week. I think they will. We but. did Vox Machina and we did Arcane. I like the model where they're like, okay, we're not going to give you the whole show, but here's like a chunk, and here's another chunk. Just you don't blow Just your load you in one day. a little bit more right. to you kind of, it out. you know, latch on to instead of one episode. Let me watch so, it at your pace and my pace. Yeah, but anyway, guys, that was the first impressions for uh, The Rings of Power. And it's a go. It, uh, yeah, it is a go. And uh, we're going to see you next week for however many episodes get dropped. Maybe yep. it is just Mysteries. one. And it's out there, and we just don't know that. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the episodes in the comments below, and we will see you for the review of the next episode.